These are one of the largest funders of media-related projects across Europe. They train journalists, produce study materials, give internships at, for example, the AMP, and work closely with the world's largest corporations such as Google and Facebook. For journalistic analysis and opinion, all the major media outlets in the world use Project Syndicate, the most powerful organization within its field. It supplies the 506 most important media outlets in 156 countries. Project Syndicate plus an organization such as the European Journalism Center, together with the news agencies, are the connecting link between all the different media outlets around the world. When newscasters read the news from their teleprompters, there is a good chance that the text comes from one of these organizations. As a result, the global media is often synchronized in its reporting. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control the truth. Exactly what people think, and this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is 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 extremely dangerous to our democracy. In September 2020, the European Journalism Center and Facebook set up a fund to support selected news organizations to do the reporting during the Corona crisis. Let's see who the organizations are that along with the news agencies produce our news. At Project Syndicate, we see the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Open Society Foundation, and the European Journalism Center. Then the European Journalism Center itself. Again we see the Gates Foundation and the Open Society Foundation. And they also receive large donations from Facebook, Google, the Dutch Ministry of Education, Culture and Science, and from the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The organizations that are at the heart of our information flow are funded by the non-profit organizations of the same elite who also controls the entire media. However, a part of our tax money goes to these organizations as well. Okay, I realize this was a lot of information to process, and believe me, I've made it as short as possible, and I've only used those examples that seem necessary to show you the overall picture, so you can understand the current situation better. It is an all-encompassing topic that can change our view on many historical events, but my goal is to inform you about the danger in which we presently find ourselves. There will be enough time for us to delve into the past, so let's talk about the current events now.